Uzan Hasan or Hassan was a sultan of the Aqqoyunlu dynasty, also known as the White Sheep Turkomans. Hassan was ruler of Azerbaijan which included also parts of present-day Iraq, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Iran and Syria between 1453 and 1478. Timur appointed his great-grandfather, Kara Yulu Kozman, as a governor of Diyarbakir, with the cities of Erzincan, Mardin, Ruha, and Shivas. Later, Azerbaijan was divided between two Timurid rulers, Jahan Shah of Kara Koyunlu and Uzun Hassan. After 20 years of fighting, Uzun Hassan eventually defeated Jahan Shah in a battle near the Sanjak of Kapako in present-day eastern Turkey on October 30, 1467. Upon the defeat of the latter, another Timurid ruler, Abu Said Mirza, answered Jahan Shah's son's request for aid taking much of Jahan Shah's former land and going to war with Uzun Hassan despite the latter's offers of peace. Uzun Hassan then ambushed and captured Abu Said at the Battle of Naraba, whereupon he was executed by Yadgar Muhammad Mirza, a rival. In 1463, the Venetian Senate, seeking allies in its war against the Ottomans, sent Lazaro Quirini as its first ambassador to Tabriz but he was unable to persuade Uzun Hassan to attack the Ottomans. Hassan sent his own envoys to Venice in return. In 1471, Quirini returned to Venice with Hassan's ambassador Murad. The Venetian Senate voted to send another to Azerbaijan, choosing Caterino Zeno after two other men declined. Zeno, whose wife was the niece of Uzun and his son's wife, was able to persuade Hassan to attack the Turks. Hassan was successful at first but there were no simultaneous attack by any of the Western powers. Uzan Hassan met the Ottomans in battle near Erzincan in 1471 and at Turkin in 1473. He was defeated by Mehmed II at Battle of Otluk Beli in the late summer of 1473. In 1473, Geosafat Barbaro was selected as another Venetian ambassador to Azerbaijan, due to his experience in the Crimean, Muscovy, and Tartary. Although Barbaro got on well with Uzun Hassan, he was unable to persuade the ruler to attack the Ottomans again. Shortly afterwards, Hassan's son Ogalu Muhammad rose in rebellion, seizing the city of Shiraz. After yet another Venetian ambassador, Ambrogio Contarini, arrived in Azerbaijan, Uzun Hassan decided that Contarini would return to Venice with a report, while Geosafat Barbaro would stay. Barbaro was the last Venetian ambassador to leave Azerbaijan, after Uzun Hassan died in 1478. While his son's sons fought each other for the throne, Barbaro hired an Armenian guide and escaped. According to Contrini, ambassador to Eruz and his son's court from 1473 to 1476, the king is of a good size, with a thin visage and agreeable countenance, and seemed to be about 70 years old. His manners were very affable, and he conversed familiarly with everyone around him, but I noticed that his hands trembled when he raised the cup to his lips, his name means tall, and Contrini reported that he was also very lean. Contrini also wrote, The empire of Uzun Hassan is very extensive, and is bounded by Turkey and Karamania, belonging to the Sultan, and which latter country extends to Aleppo. Uzun Hassan took the kingdom of Azerbaijan from Kauza, whom he put to death. The city of Ekbatana, or Taurus, is the usual residence of Uzun Hassan, Persepolis or Shiraz, which is 24 days' journey from thence. Being the last city of his empire, bordering on the Zagathes, who are the sons of Baich, Sultan of the Tartars, and with whom he is continually at war. On the other side is the country of Seljuk Empire, which is under subjection to Savansa, who pays a kind of yearly tribute to Eruz and Hassan. It is said that he has likewise some provinces on the other side of the Euphrates, in the neighborhood of the Ottoman Empire. The whole country, all the way to Istahan, is exceedingly arid, having very few trees and little water, yet it is fertile in grain and other provisions. 
His eldest son, named Ogalu Muhammad, was much spoken of when I was in Azerbaijan, as he had rebelled against his father. He had other three sons, Kalil Mirza, the elder of these was about 35 years old, and had the government of Shiris. Jakub Beg, another son of Uzan Hassan, was about 15, and I have forgotten the name of a third son. By one of his wives he had a son named Masubek, or Maksud Beg, whom he kept in prison. Because he was detected in corresponding with his rebellious brother Ogalu, and whom he afterwards put to death. According to the best accounts which I received from different persons, the forces of Uzan Hassan may amount to about 50,000 cavalry, a considerable part of whom are not of much value. It has been reported by some who were present, that at one time he led an army of 40,000 Azerbaijanians to battle against the Turks, for the purpose of restoring Pyrameth to the sovereignty of Karamania, whence he had been expelled by the infidels. Marriage and children. Uzan Hassan had seven sons. Mirza Khalil, Yaqub, Maksud, Afalu Muhammad, Yusuf Beg, Marsi Beg and Zegnal. In 1458 Uzan Hassan married Theodora Megalkomnena, the daughter of Emperor John IV of Trebizond, better known in histories as Despina Khartoum. Their daughter Halima married Haydar Safavi Sultan and became the mother of Shah Ismail I of Safavid. In literature, Uzan Hassan, or rather his name, appears as a supporting character in Christopher Marlowe's Tamburlaine, Uzun Kazana.